Right, where should we start? It's really hard to see people with this. Um, thank you all for coming. I'll say that to start off with. It's really nice to be here again. See different faces and new faces. Can everybody hear me? Uh -huh. So I did this last night, and like you said, I'm in San Francisco tonight. I was in a town last night. I was in LA the night before that. Next month, I've got till Christmas three museum shows in Japan. Oh. Right? You have to buy a ticket to go and see my work and you can't <laughs> buy it. <laughs> right? It's huge. The last time I did a museum show in Japan, two years ago, 13 million people saw it in oh. one week. Wow. Right? That's how it's like in Japan. That's great. Right? <laughs> I can't wait to get back. But I'm here now. <sighs> last night was the first time I saw this finished. Right? I'm going to talk about this one first, and I'll tell you how it came about. So, I've got a piece of wood in the studio in Bearbank, California, where I work at one of the best foundries in the world. Right? They made the biggest Buddhas in the world. They're incredible. There's actually, in Las Vegas, soon, they're going to build the Roman Colosseum. Right? And it's going to be a new hotel. That will be the same size as the Roman Colosseum. And the Roman Colosseum's towers, the arch, each one of them had a god in it. And they were all bigger than life-size gods. Right? The foundry that I work in, they've got the contract to make all the gods. These people are great. And so we're making this, right? And I've got all the clay on and I'm working with it. And I know what it's about, but I don't know the word. I don't know how to say it in one word, what I'm trying to express. And it's about 120 degrees outside. <laughs> and then the, the, the men that pour the metal, and I know what it's like because I worked in a foundry. I poured metal. And we were casting the, the copper ingots for cooling towers, ICI. Right? So I know what it's like to be covered in leather and 100 odd degrees with sparks going down your back. Right? So I appreciate people that do this for a living. And I'm making this, and this guy comes into the studio, and he's covered in silver fireproof gear, really thick, the big helmet on, big gloves, and he takes it off, and he was just wringing wet, sweat, running down. And he's a Mexican. And I'm making this, and he went, Senor, desperate. Right, and I said, well, thank you very much. <laughs>